of my favorite things is uh, the last person that talked in chat was I'm kind of. Really? Yep, you did see his smug ass face, dude. That's the thing I, I like the least. Seeing, seeing Antep's uh, icon? Yep. Antep's been waiting the whole time. Antep's already here, I don't know. That was nothing. That was nothing. Oh. That was nothing. I really hope this uh, the gamepad works. I just want my... I just want to be able to fucking do this more accurately. It could just be me and I just have to hit the buttons better. Some people just say hitbox objectively is just the best. I don't know, my brother has a hitbox and he said that he learned on the hitbox instead of the fight stick. And he said based on what he's talked to like Street Fighter players, they said like pretty much the same, but he thinks that the stick is more, like, fun. Oh yeah, people say the stick is way more fun than hitbox. Yeah, because it's, like, more, like, dude, 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 I don't know, I think they're both cool, but, I don't know, it's just... It's, yeah, but a lot of people say it all comes down to preference, too. Yeah, I don't know, I just want to... Can't even do, like my down circle thing consistently. Can't do Daro. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. That was, that was ac the accuracy. See, I didn't even... I'm not even doing it. That was nothing. So basically, there's like a bunch of comp. Like basically, every time you hit me, there's like a drop combo. I can't. Yeah, I can't. That was nothing. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, even spinning still chip. Like what? sometimes I go for like just like like down heavy strike and it just comes out as well. See? Like I I need to because I'm if I Rogan's here, baby! If I hit heavy strike, the, if I hit the button too quickly, then it doesn't come out the right way. Hey Raugan, how's it going, man? How was that? Oh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going down far enough. More like down, right? Chris looks cute with his bow tie on. Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, I'm cut. Thank you, I'm cut. We're just saying that uh, you're the last person to uh, say something. Your icon was up for like the first ten seconds of uh, ten seconds of the stream until Rogan said something. Yeah, see him. I'm, I'm glad it's hot tub love talk. You know what? I, I'm cut. Kind of, I, I I get it. All right, I get it. I get it. Maybe Sam will end up liking the, the controller, and then Sam just gets a controller. Oh, it's only go. 40 bucks. There we go, there's something. I'm letting Sam get some practice in because uh, it feels bad when Sam just, when I'm knowing that Sam hits me, it's a drop combo every fucking time. Every single time Sam hits me, it's literally... It's literally nothing. It, that's the. It's one move and that's it. It's one single move. This production brought to you by Asperger's Anonymous. <laughs> Listen, I'm cut. You see all this stuff here? This is good. I'm glad it's Street to Rage time now. Oh my God. 
Oh my god! I get it, I'm cut, I'm bad. You don't need to tell me. That's it. I'm ra raising the price. Ooh, Orange Juice 69. I'm, it's I'm, great to be back. It's great for you to be here, Orange Juice. Yes. I'm raising the price on repeat in the tub next time. Just for Uncut. Everyone, I think that's like the most chosen bathtub color. And it's going up. No. Why are you working? Why are you working? Oh, I think yeah, I have to do it faster. Same as uh, trying his... Same as trying his darnest. I should get a, I should get a, a cam, I should get the camera put on Sam's fingers to show how hard Sam is trying. <laughs> People understand what Sam is going through right now. Oh my God! Oh, I almost had it. I have to that one now. After. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen so many. I haven't really seen too many throw it against the wall combos. Really. No. Oh. oh. Oh, there we go. See? Put a, put a one in chat if you think uh, Sam's gonna land this combo. I will. Lanes is asleep right now. He would have loved to have been here. Damn, where's... What time? Wait, what, what time zone are you guys in? Oh, I guess it. I mean, I guess it's eight o'clock, uh, eight p.m. here. And uh, we live in Cali. Wait, wait, is he taking like a nap? <laughs> Jeez, isn't it like nap time, dude? Five, five, five o'clock nap time. Yeah, you know I don't blame dude. His sleep schedule is messed up. He stayed up all night. So within the first five minutes, Chris didn't have his bow tie. Two, had the wrong title. Three, fixed it to another wrong title. Four, made fun of people with Asperger's. <laughs> I didn't make fun of people with Asperger's. <laughs> that was you on cut. That was you. I feel like this is projecting. I feel like I'm, I feel there's projection going on. You'll like this. I know you'll like this. Guess what this cup is, I'm cut it's your favorite. It's a Yeti. I know you drink out of uh Yeti coolers all the time, I'm cut. Just you don't even have the cup, just buy the fucking three hundred dollar cooler and drink from it. Degenerous anal daft punk and stayed up to get lucky. Oh shit, let's go. A yeti, not an ultimate gulp. Uh, an ultimate gulp. An ultimate gulp. We learned what an ultimate gulp was the other day. I'm cut wasn't lying. Damn dude. At least I uh, at least you know. At least someone got lucky. Oh wait, there's no such thing as the ultimate golf. There is, I'm cut. You know where you know you're lying. I'm cut just fucking call it lying right now. Dude, still fucking lying, dude. What a weasley little liar. What happened to my Dara? There it is. I'm cut. How happy that are you to see that Sam is practicing with a, a fight stick? On a scale of one to uh, five. You know, I will say one to seven. Just uh, fuck with you. Yeah, 
Damn, see, Sam? I think you, I think you're ready to. I think you're ready to go online. I'm ready to go online, dude. Also, when is Anka gonna fight us in this game? He never will. If only I knew what a one through seven represented, Chris. Rep it represents your uh, happiness about Sam using a fight stick. Re represents how excited you are. Because I know every time you tune into the Bow Bros, your excitement's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell does a one represent? One represents that you wanna you wanna end your life from knowing that Sam was using a fight stick. A seven is you're so happy that you die. If you died right now, you'd be okay. You know. That's uh, that's the uh, one through seven. Well, I'm watching the bow, bro, so it's automatically a one. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. But all jokes aside, does Sam feel like he's getting better? Do you feel like getting better with the fight system? Maybe if I uh, do combos for an eternity in the basement. But that doesn't generate content, so uh, we gotta start fighting each other. Huh? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm a lot better than the first day, but I don't know if I've really progressed that much, like since the beginning of the week. To be honest, I have a lot of, I have a really hard time uh, going to the left on my stick. Like any, any, anything on the left hand side, any inputs on the left hand side, I have a really hard time with. Oh yeah, cause you're usually, you're usually facing uh, towards the right, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time doing That's why I need to left. practice like doing the inputs from both sides. But yeah, like tilting my hand this way, I usually accidentally like tilt up or uh, down or like a lot of times I'll be blocking if I'm blocking this way. Like sometimes I'll accidentally jump back and get hit. So we can't see your sit hand, Sam. All right. So when my hand's on the stick like this, I have a trouble going this way, but going in, I'm fine. When my hands on the stick like this. When I have to, when I have to bring the stick this way, backwards. So it's like, yeah. It's like to the left. See that? It's like a little left motion. Yeah. But when I go in towards the buttons, everything's hunky dory. Well, it's not all hunky dory. Let's be honest. Look at that. It's like. Oh, it's like part of the hot tub reflecting off the water. Maybe I should start on the other side. You want to fight on the other side now? Yeah, so I have to do the inputs from the other side. Sam's just, you know what's going to happen? Sam's going to play with the, the controller I get, and then Sam's like, oh wow, I can uh, input all my things uh, correctly. You know what, I'm just going to get this controller. And, uh, save I mean, if, if that ends up working, then uh, yeah. But then how will I have my sexy waifu buttons and... My, my uh, juego face all over my fucking... You won't. You won't have that. Well, you know what? It's worth to suffer. <laughs> it's worth to suffer. It's just so I can play hentai on my fight stick. Now we have to do... No, I use the wine glass. I put the stick between my... Uh, my middle and my ring finger. And I grip it with uh, three fingers. Like this. Uh, let me do a zoom in. You see? I could do the boom stick. Or I could do the the four finger hairy. Hold your hand up higher. There you go. 
But yeah, no, I just... <laughs> Anka, is that the right way? I've never heard of people having trouble moving their stick to the left. Interesting. Well, yeah, I don't know if you've talked to a lot of people who have, like, just started using it. Because mo I feel like most people who use Fight Sticks have been using them for a while. You could, like, for casual games, like, you can hold it from above and just, like, but then your inputs are less precise. But it's easier to, like, jerk it Man to the left. Knew that they cannot change society. Yeah, honestly, if I ever so get one of those, I'm just, I'm probably just gonna get the Yeah. I don't, I don't really... One. I get the appeal because it's like an arcade stick and it's like cool. It gives you that, like, retro feel, but... I don't know. I like the... I like hitting buttons, you know? I am a. I don't know if it's like. What am I doing? Yeah, why are you playing shit? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I mean, I just. What? Dude, I don't know why. I don't feel like I'm doing many things differently. I don't think I'm doing that much things differently when I'm blocking your alpha blade on the stick, but for some reason I end up blocking it more often on the other side. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you sleeping? Maybe I am like tilting and I don't even know this. Ooh, chippy bro, sexy time guys. Uh, that's, I don't know, that's what, you know, Raugen had that title and I just left it. Oh fuck. I like, I think I hit you while you were doing that, or I don't know, it looked like there was some sort of pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. I should just watch left and play. I want to play two I just watch Yeah. I'm doing myself a disservice by not doing that. Can you keep up? Oh, I thought I'd him into that, but... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Alright, that's it. Uh, I don't- I don't main ship anymore. <laughs> Sam beat me! We can go home now. Let's go. Sam beat me! When he doesn't even know how to fucking play with a fucking controller yet. And on the right side of the screen. That just proves that my Potemkin is now better than my chip. Potemkin. Pokemon, as I like to call him. Pokemon. Secretly, it's Pokemon under this mask. Metal robot. Still my ass is gay, babe. You're done, dude. Yeah. I fucked up. This guy has that moves, dude. Chip doesn't have this. Chip doesn't have what this man has. You can frame trap people with this guy. Chip can't frame trap. Chip can't frame trap, are you kidding me? He can frame trap if he uses Ram Roman Cancel. This guy. He grabbed right from the get go. This other person sucks. He doesn't walk away. That's it. Fuck 
The input! No! Games, you always have to think one step ahead of your opponent. You guys should have some combos memorized in your head. Well Sam, have you always Return played with Mrs. Valentine? Return yeah, I always, I always yeah. play a Ram. I mean, I think that it's a little bit inaccurate to uh, for me because, like, what I need, we we stream every day, so like I can't practice because it's not entertaining. So like, I just have to struggle through playing against Chris, and I'm just like playing because I, I'm getting my fingers used to it. And then, like, on the weekends, on my off time, I'll practice and actually, like, get better with, like, the inputs and stuff like that. But the problem is I don't really have a whole lot of time to practice. So, like... And I suck with the inputs right now. So it's gonna be, like, a long time before I can really do much with... Like, at least I have to learn the controller at the very... at, at first. But, like, I'm having just, like, a really hard time... Like, I know the combos... But I'm just having a really hard time executing them because my fingers just are, they're just not used to the fight box. I've never played on one before. So like if I picked up the controller, I would do like 300 times better. But I just, I'm not, I'm trying to avoid that because then if I start playing on the controller again, then I'm going to lose all of the progress from, from the fight stick. So I'm like forcing myself to continue to play on the on the fight stick. Society. But yeah, no, so literally, I get home, I work out, and we stream, places. and right after the stream I go to bed because I have to work an uh, eight-hour shift every day. So, I don't really have any other time during the day to practice besides on the weekends, which I have been doing uh, before on the controller. Yeah, I, I, I don't really practice outside of streaming. Like, sometimes I get, like, a 30-minute practice in right before streaming, but that's about it. I fucked up. Like, I, I don't know if you're here, I'm cut. For the, from the... Uh, yeah, you weren't here. Before. Like, when Chris and I were playing, like, Chip and Ram. Pot is better than my chip now. I think also because of my playstyle, or my, I should say, the limit to my playstyle. Like, I think to be good against Pot right now, I have to, like, open you up. And every, like, I can't be good in the matchup unless I can open you up. So much Assuming off of a, a fucking sweet. Like, he has more.
Proceeding with the mission is planned. Is there like an anti air you can use for like when I spam Mega Fist? I can, but I'm just not doing it at the right time. Oh. And then sometimes I just don't do it the right way. Like I'm trying to time it, because I know what I'm supposed to do to, to beat your matchup. Like I can time my I can beat your Mega Fist with my uh with your with my forward square. But sometimes I don't exactly hit uh to the side the right way. Also, like, those moments, like, where I have you on the defense, <laughs> and I can't keep fucking pressuring you because I just drop. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's frustrating. Oh shit! Woo! You have an A button controller, Sam. What I found works for me is to uh, I know you still have punch have on the top left button. Kick on the bottom left button. Everything is. I have uh, I have the B style set up. So I ha I have kick where you have or I have punch where you have punch. But uh, I have kick. I have kick where Y is. So my button setup is uh, is punch. Kick, slash, and then this is heavy slash, dust, uh, psych burst, uh, this is roman cancel and dash. So, like, my combos will be, like, slash, down heavy slash, into Daro combo, catch him with the kick, for it. It's, it's working better than a lot of the other stuff that I have, but, again, I think it's, I, I literally, I think this is what, day like four of me using the fight stick? So I I think it's really just like a learning curve thing. Because when I was first playing, like I didn't I didn't even know where my fingers... You like your dash so far away, huh? I'm actually using, I'm, I'm trying to get good with the stick dash. Because pe like, from what I learned online, I guess, from people who use these at tournament and stuff like that, they said like, you shouldn't be relying on your on your button dash uh, besides anything but Roman cancel dashes, at least for this game. They said like you should get good at being able to dash back and forth with the stick. So that's what I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to do right now. That's crazy because I actually use the button and dash sometimes. All I guess it's situational or something. It just it like I use the I use the dash on the controller, the dash button, because it was a trigger. It was just so easy. It was so easy to like just click instead of double tapping a direction. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? What? What is this music? I don't know. Sam is a gorgeous man who doesn't button dash. <laughs> Thanks, Clippy. <laughs> dash with the stick, but for people starting out, they usually use button dash. Yeah. Um, well is there a reason why Return you should start out button dash? Because it's hard. 
Like, I think it's just harder to do stick dash, that's why, I don't know, I just... Isn't it better to learn from, if it's like the easy, it's like if it's the right thing to do, wouldn't it be better to just start off by doing, like, the stick dash? Thing? Yeah, exactly, that's... It's the same, it's the same concept that I, like, from, for me, for, like, not, like, going cold turkey or whatever, not using the controller. Stick can be a huge undertaking, and some people don't know that double tapping the same direction is a turn. Yeah. Why did I? I did my input instead of the easier thing. No. No. Yeah, I know, it's hard, but I want to learn. I want to learn the... I want to learn the right way. My older brother is a fucking celestial chip. I literally just talked to him, like, the other day. Can you change hands? Change hands? Change hands. I don't know how to change hands, dude. Unless you're talking about me playing the stick or something. Ow. No, I'm not. No chance. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Once you learn the stick, all fighting games become accessible. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's true too. They can play any fighting game and be uh, the best at it. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't be the best at any of the Marvel vs. Capcom games. That ship passed a long time ago. Damn, son. I mean, I am. Yeah. I never got into uh, Marvel vs. Capcom because, like, I'm not big on the the team fighting games. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't really want to, want to play Fighter Z as well. Because Fighter Z is just like I don't know. I love Dragon Ball Z, but. It's just too much. It's too much to touch, dude. Yeah, I don't like managing like three separate characters at once. Yeah, I mean it's it looks fun, but yeah, it's 
I don't know, def definitely not my forte. I can't. I just can't get out of the corner when you're. Like, like a like a like a you have priority every time too. When I like wake up, I can't hit you with any of my abilities. Are you guys intimidated by the idea of controlling three characters? No, I just don't. I, I just don't like it. Like I want to be. I just want to do a one v one. I don't like the assist system. I don't like the fact that there's like all these crazy things going on. Like I just want to focus on my character and like get good with it and like learn their combos and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess I would say I'm intimidated by controlling three separate characters. Mankind new. I just don't like the idea of it. Dual one. I don't know. Rock. Like for me, I. I think it's neat, but I, just, uh, I, I don't know. It's just too much. I can never get my super off either, and then I take like half my health for trying. Like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I wanted to run at you! <laughs> Definitely can't slash you out of it. Chris, you need someone to Jump teach you Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I think you like it. I hated the idea of assists and which players to use, etc. But I gave it a shot. One of the best fighting games that ever released, hands down. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Mar I remember I used to just button mash in that game and it got my friends really mad. Because I would just play like Wolverine, Sentinel, like all of the OP characters. What was it? Wolverine, Sentinel, and I don't know, one other character, and I just like flooded the screen with pressure. I just remember Wolverine screaming Berserker Barrage over and over again. Is that from uh, Marvel's Capcom 2 or 3? I don't know. It was the one where you're playing at Andy's dad's house. Dual one. I don't know. Let's rock. Mega Man. Mega Man. <laughs> I played some Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but I was just really fucking bad at it. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with that today. Let's fucking go. Wow. Let's fucking go. Oh, you actually tricked me. Oh shit! I fucked up! Yeah! 
Hello, sexy things. Oh, what's up? What's up, Cosmic? Hey, yo, I'm out of here. Next time you Marvel vs. Capcom use... Use a stick. Use a stick. Thanks, I'm cut. Oh, we're doing. We're doing pretty good. Sam's learning how to play stick. It's a little frustrated that he can't do everything he wants. Oh fuck! It's facing. Fuck. Fuck. Technically, today's our Friday because we have a friend uh, coming up tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's true. Yep, yeah. we got a buddy coming up tomorrow. He's uh, haven't seen him in a while. It'll be a good time. You know, it'll be a great time. What's up, Aiden? Smell of the game. Yeah, smell of the game, baby. Double counter? Mega Fist or? Mega Fist. Maybe I could like extend my combo with Mega Fist. Buster, Buster! Oh, the sky, dude. The sky's up. Now, unless you're uh, it's actually, unless you're in your house, it could be the roof. It could be the roof. Raise the roof. Mankind knew that they. Ah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing real pretty good. Sam's still learning on the stick, and uh, we have a friend coming over tomorrow for the weekend. It's pretty, it's gonna be a good time. and eating marshmallow under the fire. Ooh. Nice! Campfire night, nice. Look romantic! That's good. Let's 
Misses are going on a night walk on the beach and hear the waves crashing with a bright moon. That is that's that's nice. That's what I uh it's like what those uh romantic movies are. So it's rom coms? Yeah. Beach the good old fake love. <laughs> Sometimes nice uh to go walk on the beach though. Oh, yeah. No, I just was referring to like what it is like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I suck at Roman, but hey, it's worth a try. It's all right, man. I'm not the best at Roman either. Oh shit. What? I'm sorry. No! I finally did it. <laughs> ah, Mother Russia. Mother Russia, baby. What's good? D Sice and OG Soda or OG Sod 1X? Oh, 
I think it's all the touch to uh, half the screen, you know? Oh shit. Sam and Chris, can I get advice on how to make romantic nights better? You, be you better believe it. Well done. Return to base. Step one. Dump your girlfriend. <laughs> Step two. Masturbate with yourself and light a candle. <laughs> uh, make romantic nights better. I mean... I think romantic nights are all about doing something special and meaningful with your uh, with your girlfriend or wife or fiance or whatever she is. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Do stuff. Uh, <laughs> nice advice. Do stuff for her or for both of you, like stuff that you both enjoy, and uh, try and uh, try and make it special. How are you? I'm good. Hey, yeah, we're good. Thursday night, maybe. Sam's learning on a, a, a fucking box. I'm wor I'm working on this uh, fight stick that I just got. It's the first week of fight stick. First week. That's why we first week call fight it. stick. First, first week fight stick. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, think about things she likes to do. Uh, I think. Like, there's no, I don't think there's like any, like, really, like, you know, general formula to being romantic. I think it's just like. Yeah, some things are gonna be romantic for, like, different people. It sounds like you're doing a pretty good job. I mean, yeah, my, I'm nice walking on the beach. Yeah. If you and her enjoy doing that and it's special, I think that's good. Yeah. I mean, you guys, like, went to an Italian restaurant the other night. Walking on the beach and making marshmallows and stuff. Uh, I don't know, man. It's like seems like you're doing. A, it seems like you're pretty good at being romantic. Yeah. I guess the thing is, uh, if you keep like, I guess like the thing, if you keep doing the same these like things like over and over and over again, they become less romantic though, because then it becomes like you know a stable. Like it comes like normal. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to like overdo it. I guess is another thing. Like you want to make it like a special occasion. Occasion, yeah. No! Ah, oh, you figured me out. That's it. You guys got me into Erling. Yeah, dude, Erling's, uh, Erling's the real. That, that's romantic. No! That's romantic shit right there. That's it. It's okay, you're across the board. Oh, God. More judgment. Uh, I was blocking, but I was blocking in- I think if I'm blocking in the air and you hit me while I'm like blocking something else, I think it- I don't know. I was holding back. At least I thought I was. Oh, wow! Yeah. Keep rushing, guys. No, unfortunately, we don't. Sorry, guys. No. I like the song "Lounge" by him. Oh, yeah, "Lounge" is pretty good. Dude, I honestly almost like anything. There's like maybe one or two songs I'm like, uh, I'm not too, too into it. But like literally everything else is just like gold. Like, it's just good music. Yeah. The stuff is really good. Oh, 
What are you playing? Ah, uh, we're playing Guilty Gear Strive. It's a fighting game. It's a fighting game. We fight each other. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. There's a uh, Arabic French Albanian. Oh damn! Fucking Aiden knows all the languages. How the hell did you learn that? So why? Did is there a reason why you know so many languages, or do you just like learning new languages? French is a pretty language. I just enjoy new languages. Proceeding with the mission flag. Damn, dude. French is a pretty language, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> My fiance is French, and she sounds like garbage. I just want to slap her in the mouth every time she opens it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I I'm kidding. I love my girlfriend. I mean fiance. I haven't even call your hell on that. I want to go to Dubai. No, you don't, dude. You don't want to go to Dubai. <laughs> no, you don't. Trust me, you don't want to go to Dubai. It is. Pray for me. Oh, I don't have my swords. I do now. Oh, fuck. Don't do it. I told you not to. Now, what is no! That's it. You're dead. <laughs> I am dead. Wait, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Yes. No! It's not yes! Oh, Poe is a demon. Also, what's good, boys? Why? Wow, it's luxury as fuck. Yeah, it's too too much. No, I mean Dubai's Dubai looks sick. Let's be honest, Dubai looks sick. I was just trying to. expensive to live there? Maybe to live there, but. Fucking Sam. Hot is a demon. Also, what's good, boys? Well, it's another day of Sam learning the stick. Another day of me playing Pot. Ah! My god, dude. That's a big grab. Dude, that. <laughs> Mr. Fuck the Troops, explain why. I just like to be contrarian. No, uh, I was just, I was just fucking around. I think Dubai looks nice. I, I know that they have a fucking drone race there every year, like That's the world championship of like drone racing. That's pretty tight. Uh, I mean, yeah, Dubai looks really cool. It looks really cool. It's definitely a city built for rich people. Uh, but I'm sure there's plenty of really cool stuff to like check out there. I like going to like museums and looking at buildings and shit, and I'm sure it has like plenty of that kind of stuff, like a bunch of cool activities to do in the city. Yeah. Probably a bunch of good restaurant. Dubai has fucking Lambos as police cars. Yeah, dude. It's cause everybody has a fucking Lambo, so they need Lambo <laughs> police cars yes. to catch people. Yeah. Mankind. Mr. Ooh, fuck the true fix the plane why. Fuck it, dude, I'll say it. I'm hanging, you wanna, you wanna, wanna fight? Uh, I really should. That instead, but I got fucked. 
Alright, I feel like uh, my power is slowly increasing. How do you feel about it, Chris? Hey, I, I think it's slowly increasing. Definitely, uh, get all my hits off on me. You land that sword call move more. Don't slide that game. Oh. No, I fucking did too soon. No, stop whipping. Hey, yo, I came from Lanes and Orange Juice. Oh, oh hell oh. yeah. Thank you, boys. The trios. Are you guys gay or just good friends? Uh. We're good yeah. friends. We're good friends. You could say we're really good friends. Like really, really change society. Good friends. Dual one. Let's rock. Ooh, jump right over the sword. Sam, I almost went to bed the same way you did. Oh uh, shit! Like going to the bathroom in the in your dream. In your dream? Yeah, that happens. Dude. I, I, I don't like that feeling. I know I, 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 I wake up and I go to the bathroom. Too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. Oh! 
Did I get you full screen? Yeah! Damn, dude. You can just cancel Gerudo like that? Not good. Meanwhile, me and the missus are laying on the grass and looking at the stars. Ooh. The bow grows on in the background. It's, uh, it's a romantic night. Yep, urban playing. Oh. Dude, I keep on fucking up. I need to use my uh, Roman cancel and burst more because I keep like intermingling the two. Yeah. Like I'm bursting when I'm trying to do the opposite. Yeah. On my phone, laugh my ass off. It's nice. Man. <laughs> nice romantic night. With the bow broke. With the bow broke and the mystery. <laughs> Can't miss a bow brush, man. Fuck. Oh. What was that? Oh no. Oh, oh I missed. Oh no. Oh, I see this. No! Sam's lip licking is satisfying. I try and lick a little bit too much for you. Ah! Oh, One, two, buckle my shoe! No! Spread you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in this fucking corner. No. Ah! Wait! I'm fuck. He's lurking! Good! He's probably watching some Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom, too. Probably. Or playing himself. Ooh. <laughs> I'm fuck is probably masturbating to fucking granny porn. Oh my god! Damn, dude. Dual one. Let's rock. Boy, let's uh, boy, let's porn. Maybe I can beat your aerials with my heavy slide. Oh 
Oh my god! Sam! Because the rope caught the Watch kid. Out, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not the kid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mankind knew that they could all. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Yellow and can't swim. A bus full of children. <laughs> oh man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, children. What you say about pedos? At least they can drive through school zones slow. This is true. This is true. Ha! 
That was a bad finger placement. I was like over here after. Oh shit. That's fucking useless. What's the difference about my, me and cancer? I did it, my dad didn't beat cancer. Oh wow. <laughs> I was trying to do my special the entire time there and I couldn't do it. Oh, shit. Well done. Return to base. Well, at least we have uh, another controller. Maybe by Saturday. That they cannot change society. Try out. Do I'm telling you right now, I'm too, uh, too deep, dude. I don't want to give it up. You're too deep now. It's a proven master. Some people have also not just like sticks. <laughs> I'm starting to see some results. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna. It's like feeling better every day. Feeling better every day. Ah, fuck. Oh my god. Starting to feel it, baby. Sam's starting to really feeling it. Dual one. Let's rock. Slide I 
Oh, what's the difference between Harry Potter and Anne Frank? Harry made it out of the chambers. Understood. Rest, uh, Rest in pieces, Harry. Rest in pieces, Harry. Alright, we gotta start love talk. Yep. Yeah. One more? One more. One more. Let's rock. Love talk, baby, love talk. Love talk. Love talk. Finish your sentence, you fucking asshole. Oh, me? Yeah. What did, I, what did I say? Sounds good. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. I know. <laughs> I was trying to distract you so I can win. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, dude, that move is useless. Simp, it does say simp on his arm. Yep. SMP, baby. Simp. Okay, so where's uh, everyone tonight? This is unusual as fuck. It really is a little bit unusual. Not unusual. Maybe Thursdays are just uh, wall days. I don't know. I feel like Thursdays usually are pretty good. Oh yeah, actually, I think you're alright. You can pop off the party. No! You can't! Oh man, I think I'm running back into it. Oh no! No! We go for round three, baby! Round three! Love talk time, baby. I'm Cut's favorite time if he was here. He's missing out on all the red flags today. But it's okay. It's okay, I'm Cut. It's okay. It's alright to be missing out on all the red flags. Uh, nice. You know, what? it will actually be good. It'll be good when you get the controller. Yeah. Cause then I, then, then, uh, then we'll be both using a new thing. A new thing. Oh shit. <laughs> It'll be more evenly matched. I don't know. Mine's more of the same controller. It's still different. You said. A little bit. It just has a better D-pad. But don't, didn't you say like there's like three, 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 like nine so buttons here? It's three, so it's just two rows of three. So it looks like exactly like, like the fight, well, here's his four, but yeah, it's yeah. just three, three. So it'll yeah, still be new. Be a little new. You might be overestimating your abilities a little bit there, pal. Oh, well, we'll see. Using a, using a standard controller is really easy. It's still, a, it's still a different controller. Like when you use a Steam controller, it's probably like, what's going on here? All right, let's see. We got our typing thing again. We have, we can actually write now. Oh, we can write now. We can write now. That's pretty sick. It should work, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Have you ever seen things work before? Oh, 
God, here we go. Here we go. We got some. Oh God, here we go. Oh God, here we go, dude. I, whenever, whenever there's something. There, there's a bunch of people in here before Aiden. I feel like there was a bunch. Yeah. Not a lot of people chatting right now. That's all. All right. Love talk, baby. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, baby. I feel like no one wants an actual long-term relationship anymore. No one wants to have a long-term relationship anymore. Oh boy, did you want to see what this is? This it? Is it's not safe for work. Twenty-nine-year-old non-binary, and every time I try to talk to someone, they either want to be friends with benefits with no attachment, just want to fuck once, or they already are in an open poly relationship and want to be more, be one of their extras. I'm just getting tired of trying to talk to people who only see me as an option and having my emotions played with. On dating apps, when I match with someone, we'll immediately hit it off, but then when I tell them I'm only looking for a long-term relationship, they stop talking to me. I guess I'm old-fashioned, but I don't feel comfortable being in a poly relationship or just hooking up with random people. I don't want to be just an option to someone. I want a real relationship. <clears throat> I want to find someone to fall in love with, buy a place together, and be in a committed monogamous relationship with them. I'm starting to feel like I'm asking for too much because pretty much no one I'm attracted to is looking for that. Um. Hmm. I feel like, uh. When the lyrics kick in, I get my head messing up. Sorry. Ah! I mean. I don't think people that are, like, in. I don't know. Poly amorous relationships see people as options. She's like viewing it as like her emotions are being played with. Yeah, that's true. Polyamorous people don't view it as that. Uh, they view it. They don't view it as like a orgy fest, you know. Yeah. Um. They view it as like having a serious relationship just with a bunch of people. people. Yeah. Which um, to me is fucking insane, dude. Yeah, I feel like, you know, having a relationship with multiple people is just a, a lot of work. That's crazy. You know, if they can pull it off, good for them, but... I, I, don't, I don't think it's possible for me, that's for sure. Yeah. But as far as, like, feeling like there's no long-term relationship, I mean, there's definitely people out there that still want, you know, a monogamous relationship. Yeah. Agreed. Um, it's all about like she says. What? As soon as she tells them that she wants a long-term relationship, they stop talking. Yeah. Hmm. I think that she's maybe being too committal at the beginning. Like asking for a long-term relationship right off the bat? Maybe just kind of like taking it easy instead of just like immediately being like, I'm looking for a long-term relationship and nothing else. So if you don't want that, then it's like black and white and we can't be compatible. Yeah, that might scare people away because like the other person might still want a long-term relationship, but like they need to feel it out first. It's not like you're just gonna yeah. start dating and then like, oh, this is a long-term relationship. I and think... Yeah, yeah, go it's, on. it's not like, uh, you don't just get into, like, you know, start dating or in a relationship and, you know, ex and expect it to be, you know, last forever because you still gotta, like, test out the waters. You gotta make sure, like, they're compatible and, like, because you don't really know someone until, like, a couple months into dating them. Yeah. And then, like, it couldn't work out. And then, like, are they gonna view that, like, oh, this person just used me as, like, my emotions play with or did they were like this isn't working out for me like this is not what I wanted and it's okay for them to feel that way yeah exactly exactly yeah I think I don't know I think that it's maybe she had like an experience where she spent multiple times she spent like time with people and it ended up being nothing yeah and then like she's getting upset about the fact that she's like I don't want to waste my time with people 
if they're not willing to hang out with me. Like, if they don't want to spend time with me, then I don't really want to hang out with people in that way. Yeah. And then she just feels like it's wasted time, when in reality, like, people need time to, like, adjust and, like... I feel good! I feel good! Like, <laughs> learn each other and get used to each other and... And then, like, naturally things progress into a serious relationship, like... Yeah. I was... The... Uh, my fiancé, like, the first... Whole first month we were seeing each other, we were just, like, fucking around, like, casually and seeing each other. Like, I don't know. I even saw somebody else while I was seeing her the first month. So, like... And that obviously turned into something very serious. Yeah. So, like, you can't force those things. No. No, exactly. You can't force people to, like, stay in a long-term relationship right from the get-go. Like, they don't know who the fuck you are. So. Yeah. I don't know if this person is, like, you know, going on a date and then, like, asking for a long-term, like, I'm looking to be in a long-term relationship and, like, putting it on them, like, the pressure on them right away and then maybe they're, like, okay, well, I want to feel things out first. I'm like, and then, like, she just doesn't like that as an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I, mean, I guess that's all I gotta say about that. It's, uh, this person probably, well, I don't know what they probably do, but I mean, I think she just needs to not put the pressure on the other person so much. If that's what she is doing, I'm not sure if that is, because I don't have enough details, but... If everybody she's running into has the same perspective, then I think there's a good chance that, like, she might be doing something... Yeah. ...that is either attracting those people or causing that reaction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So... Hey, you can't, I mean, you can't blame everyone else for stuff, that's the thing. Yeah. Um... Do we leave a do we leave a message? Should we just tell her that like you know if if everybody you meet is have is like having the same reaction, then maybe you need to look at the way that you're presenting yourself, or like maybe um, like if you're the common denominator, then maybe like you're putting too much pressure on people for a long-term relationship. Yeah, you could say something like that and then just say like. You can't just force a long-term relationship on someone. Yeah. I'll just say... Uh, I mean, we're assuming because she didn't give us any detail. It's very common, yeah, we don't So should I say, like, this is kind of an assumption? Uh, what's, uh, what, what's a good way of saying it? It's like, uh... I guess, yeah, it's... You could say, like, I don't know the details, but this is what I, you know, think is going on. Or I think is happening. If you put too much pressure on lol so cute <laughs> if you put too much pressure on people for a serious relationship early Also, uh, expectations can change. That's part of the beauty of dating. Maybe at first, someone might not want a serious relationship. Yeah. 
I don't know the details, but if the majority of the people you meet have the same reaction, then you could be the common denominator. If you put too much pressure on people for a serious relationship early, then you could drive them away. Also, expectations can change. That's part of the beauty of dating. Maybe at first someone might not want a serious relationship with you, but as you grow together, those... Oh, wait. Those... Uh, those feelings? Yeah. Those feelings can develop. Yes, there we go. Can develop. There we go. Gonna have a last... Yeah, well, I was gonna say... Can you write Sinful Hawk? Instead. You mean, like, on our bodies? Yeah, we can write Sinful Hawk on... Are you talking about our bodies? All okay. right. Who do you want it on, me or Chris? Damn, dude. The one that doesn't write. All right. I was gonna say, we gotta keep the caps on, but this one had, was like half on and it's still good. The sinful one. Oh, sinful on one and hawk on the other. So, All right, so sinful on Chris. Sinful, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sinful. Man, we haven't had this in a hot minute. A hot minute. Simple hawk means something? Simple. <laughs> Alright, here we go. H A W K. Why can't a nose be 12 inches? Cause then it'd be a foot. <laughs> I fucked up. You giggled. Um, there we go. There we go. Why? There you go, man. There you go, thanks. Thanks for dumping pennies on us. Thanks for the dono. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> fix everything yeah i was gonna mention like at the beginning maybe like if you've had a bad experience with people like you know been deceived in the past or whatever then like you shouldn't dwell on it yeah yeah that's good yeah you can write that I might help her out or them out i should say I had a bad experience once with those two dudes in a hot tub. <laughs> Who has bad experiences uh, with Bobro? Except I'm cut. <laughs> Do you've had a deceitful experience with partners or dating in the past and you should try not to dwell on it? I don't know the details, but if the majority of the people you meet have the same reaction, then you could be the common denominator. If you put too much pressure on people for a serious relationship early, then you could drive them away. Also, expectations can change. That's part of the beauty of dating. Maybe at first someone might not want a serious relationship with you, but as you grow together, those feelings can develop. There you go. Should I say, say something nice? Like, uh... Sometimes... You gotta just... Just go with the flow and enjoy yourself. There you go. There we go. Let's go. But we stupid. But we stupid. But we stupid. stupid. Alright. Nice. Alright. Holy. Is this different? No. Don't be on your best behavior on a first date. Do! Be on your no wait, we saw Yeah, this we one. saw this already. Is it anybody's fault if one person loses the spark in the relationship and they don't say anything about it? For example, person A loses spark and doesn't say anything about it. Is it person B's 
person's fault for letting a spark die, or a person's name for not saying anything about it to fix it, or is it nobody's fault? I, I asked it because my ex lost a spark but lied about it. Oh. And said everything was fine for three months before breaking up with me. So she and her words didn't have to have a difficult conversation. I also suspect she cheated on me in that time, but I don't have hard proof of that, just some suspicion based on how she was acting. Um, I I mean, I guess it's more on the person that's, you know, kind of losing the spark and not really saying anything. Um, yeah, I think that's more on the person who is having, like, a problem with the relationship. Yeah, and, and, you know, relationships all about communication. Yeah, so she is not in love anymore or having issues with the guy, then it's up to her, if she cares about the relationship, to uh, talk to him about it. And if she doesn't want to, then it's up to her to do the big girl thing and break up. Yep. Not cheat. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's, uh, obviously it's difficult. It's definitely a difficult conversation to have. Uh, well, yeah, it's definitely on the person that uh, is, you know, losing the spark. Yeah. What do, what do people say? What do people say? Lying to avoid discomfort is wrong, and yeah, she probably lied because she didn't want to break up until she had either lined up someone new or gotten enough confidence that she was sure it would be trade up. You were lied to and misled for a while and you have every right to be angry. During this time she also st she still encouraged me to quit my job and move to where she lived since we were long distance. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh. That's uh... Fucking... That's not good at all. That is a witch. That, yeah, that's, that is a, that, that's a, that's a fucking witch if I've ever seen one. That's a wicked, wicked witch. Holy, Holy shit. Holy fuck, dude. Some people are brutal. Yeah. Yes. Even in, like, I can't imagine, dude. Even in, like, a loving relationship, like, you're telling each other you love each other and, like, spending time with each other and stuff like that. And, like, being really friendly or whatever. Like, you still, like, still have the mindset in your head that, like, oh, I'm only looking out for myself. Still, like in the long run, like any other opportunity that's better comes along, I'll take it. Like any, like, and I'll just, I'll have the other person do whatever is best for me, and not think about them at all. That's yeah. That's crazy. See, that's fucked though. Like, if she, kno well, knowing that she's losing interest in the person and still convincing them to move. <laughs> ah. She sounds like somebody who just like probably insecure and she's like want, yeah needs attention. So like if like if like someone else that she was talking to was failing, then it would like rely back on this person. Yeah, that sucks. Bummer, man. But you know what? At least you didn't fucking spend like a decade with her. That's yeah. That's the that's the beauty of this is uh <laughs> at least you got out before you yeah, know yeah. she was gonna do this you know years down the road. That sucks. Yeah. That's how I look at my past shitty experiences. Yep, exactly. At least I didn't spend more time with that person. It's too true. I'm too good for that shit. <laughs> 28 year old female, don't date much, but I want to reach out to a co worker via Insta that I think is cute. Should I let them come to me or reach out? Well, if you find someone. Attractive, you should probably be the one that reaches out. Also, you can just say like that. Especially if you're a girl. Yeah. Especially if you're a girl. Like, it, it's kind of, it, like, it's super cute. Yeah. If you, like, reach out to a guy and you're like, hey, I think you're really cute. Let's date. Or let's go or, out on a date. Oh, yeah, let's go out for, like, drinks or let's go on a date. Yeah. yeah. I would be like, hell yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah. That's it. Also, what would be acceptable to say to him since I know nothing about him for the most part? Oh, he doesn't even know his brain doesn't even know the coworker that well. Just think, uh, yeah, think he's cute.
just own up to... To... I don't know how to phrase this. Just own up to, like, saying how cute he is? Oh, like, uh... Just state your intentions? Yeah. Just state... Your intentions... going straight after him about being cute, but you know, you say like, I want to get to know you, so you know it's like a more... Yeah. Follow up with, uh, with asking for a date, and boom. You are all set. Yeah. He'll be really cute if a coworker reached out to me and told me exactly that. Uh, I should say as a guy. Twenty-nine-year-old man. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, did we say that we were? No, that was on your other account, right? No, that was on my other account. You can just like, oh, you can like at people if you really want it. There you go. Nice, dude. Nailed it. Bada bing, bada boom, that's all you guys say. Who do you, who do guys treat? Why do? Why do? Oh, fuck, dude. I don't know. Who? Who do? Who do? How, who do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Why do guys treat women that want sex with so little respect? Because they just treat them as objects? Yeah, but you can be like a cool hookup partner. You can still have respect for each other. But I mean, like, she's saying with so little respect. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying there's not. There's, oh, she's There's just... still not an excuse for it. Like, you can still. Should, even if you're just, like, fucking or whatever, you should still try and show some respect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. I, yeah, I definitely agree. Because I think it's a hot when, you know, you still. Like, you don't want to get too involved, but you still, like, you know, show them respect or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't mind hanging out with you if I'm fucking you, you know? Yeah. Fuck a little bit, chill on the couch, watch something, fuck again, go home, call it a night, <laughs> do it again next weekend. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's totally cool. Can we read this? Uh, yeah. 23, 20 minutes ago. Hot off the press. Hot off the press, baby. This is just something that... <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> they really... Push notifications for fucking uploads. Jeez. I, I didn't even fucking read it. <laughs> this is something that I, a 21 female, have noticed in my limited experience dating, but guys, treat girls that want sex like trash. The things dude have assumed that I would be cool with just because I was okay with having casual sex. It's gross. They are also way more aggressive during sex. Like, they'll grab my neck to choke me without even asking if it's okay. It's like they have no respect for sex positive women. They lose all sense of boundaries. For instance, they think it's okay to tell me every time that they get a boner or are jerking off months after we hooked up, like, what the fuck? Then they also assume I, I'll always be up for it again, or that I'll be willing to send them nudes whenever. I mean, I hear guys complain all the time that they want sex or wish more women were open to hookups or initiate sex, but it's basically their own fault when we decide not to embrace our sexual side. Oh, and it's also screwed up how guys don't want to date a girl with a high body count, but if you don't put out by the first few dates, they assume you aren't interested or consider you a waste of time. Other people just, just fucking asshole, dude. Straight up. Yeah. 
Dude, like, you, you, even if you're just hooking up, you gotta respect boundaries. Yeah. But another thing is that, like, maybe she needs to learn from this experience where, like, maybe guys think, like, a girl who is sex positive, or I shouldn't say, like, I, I should say, like, a lot of men, maybe they think that she's, like, really kinky and, like, because she's, like, sex positive. Yeah. So, like, maybe they're, like, a, I mean, it's not good to assume these things, but, like, maybe it's more assumed from a male perspective that she's, like, okay with oh, like things this. like, you know, playing with her butt and choking and, like... Yeah physical aggression and stuff like that when you're fucking it's the same thing like why prostitutes get like treated badly a lot of the time you know yeah hookers don't fart they let out little prostitutes <laughs> 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 oh Holy good shit. shit that's good good shit Drubal. Drubal coming in the clutch yep um but yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's sad. But maybe with her experience, if she does just want to hook up, what she should start doing is just like setting clear boundaries. Yeah, right from the get go. And also, like, you know, if she's not doing it right now, like going and like, you know, meeting with the guy before she hooks up with him, just not like going to his place or having him over or whatever. Yeah. Like go out and have like drinks and get to know each other a little bit before you fuck. Yeah, that's also a, a good idea. Yeah. Just so you know what, uh... Just so you know what the person is like before they, you know, get in bed with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah, that sucks. Indeed. Indeed, my man, it sucks. I mean, that's what it, it is what it is, but, uh... That's that's not not cool for her, but I, I just think that if she does want to continue to do this, like I said, I think she just has to learn how to communicate what is okay and not okay. Yeah, yeah, right off. The, maybe even before they even have sex. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. right when they like meet. Yeah. Like hey, this is what's cool, what's not cool. Yeah. And if you don't respect my boundaries, then I'll just fucking leave and never talk to you again. Yeah. Yeah, but also. Another thing is, like, setting a, uh, if she sets a precedent of, like, an only sexual relationship, then also I think it's normal for, like, the contact that she has with these guys to be mostly sexual in nature. Yeah. So, like, I think she, if she wants to hook up, but, like, is also looking for maybe more than just that, she could also be talking about that as well. Hmm. Because she said, like, she gets upset that, like, all they do is talk to her about sex or, like, when they have boners or when they're horny or whatever, when they text. Yeah. I'm like, well, if you're just, like, looking for sex for them, from them, maybe that's, like, all they see you as. So, like, maybe they're just trying to give you what you want. If you're just like, I just want to hook up, you know? Yeah. So then they're assuming that, oh, I'm just going to talk to this girl in sexual ways because that's what she wants. Yeah, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> but if, it's, if there's, like, guys just sending her dick pics still, so it's like a, a, I don't know, that's a dumb thing to do. I mean, I don't do that, but, like, I, I, I disagree with that being, like, a, like, a, on uh, something that's, like, out of the norm. Like, she set a precedent for a only hookup relationship, so it's only sexual in nature. That's what she, if she's truly saying, like, all I want to do is hook up. Like, I want to be, like, just get laid or whatever tonight. Yeah. And she texts a guy, and then they hook up, and that's it. Boom, boom, boom. And he goes home. Like, if he contacts her again, it's going to be sexual in nature. Whether it's a dick pic. Yeah. Like, saying, hey, I'm horny. Uh, asking her for nudes. Like, that's just it, man. I'm sorry. But, like, if that's the precedent she's setting, then she needs to be able to, like communicate her boundaries in that in that area yeah that's true I because guess. like if it if the roles were reversed let's say and the guy was like hey i'm just down to fuck or whatever and the girl was like okay cool and then i went over and, and fucked the girl and then left or whatever and then like if she uh if if i was gonna text her or whatever like the assumption is that i would or that she would text me it would be sexual in nature or like wanting to like hook up again or whatever yeah 
So I, I guess you're yeah, you're right. Yeah, she just said it's impressive. Like I would, I would, if I got a text from her, like I'd expect it to be either a dirty text or like a mood or something like that. Like, hey, come over. So. Yeah, yeah um, maybe she should actually like go to a, you know, a place before and then, uh, you know, actually have like a, a conversation. I don't, maybe she just like brings him back or she goes to their place and just has sex and that's it. Yeah, but I think in this situation, she wants to be sex positive, but she doesn't just want to be sex positive. So in that case, she absolutely needs to, like, be able to set more strict boundaries. Yeah. And, like, have conversations with her partners. Yeah. Being like, hey, I'm not just a whole, like, I want to have an orgasm, and you're hot, and I want to fuck with you. Yeah. But, like, I, I don't just want to, I just, I don't want you to just see me as a whole. I want to actually, like, be able to hang out with you or whatever. Like, friends with benefits, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Also, yeah, sexual boundaries are really important to, like, set before you hook up with people. Yeah. Dude, I've literally seen, like, sex contracts for people who have, like, a lot of casual sex. Like, literally, like, a consent form that says, like, I, and then you write your name, like, agree to have sex with, and then they write their name. You both sign the contract, and there's even, like, a checklist of the things that you consent to do. So it's like vaginal penetration, oral sex, like anal sex, like BDSM, like all these specific things that you check off on, in boxes. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like a, 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 a semi-legally binding consent form. Like at least you have like something to say like, hey, we both wanted to fuck and do these things. Damn dude. What happens if they uh, break, uh, what happens if they did something dirty? did something off well if you break the contract then you're liable to be brought to like if it really made the other person uncomfortable or whatever like you yeah. you did something you weren't supposed to do then you're that's technically great yeah i mean yeah that would be yeah it would be great. so like that's yeah it was it's a it's like a yeah it was something that people started to do when like the me too movement happened i think yeah because people wanted to be like absolutely sure with their sexual casual casual sexual partners that like they were consenting to whatever they wanted yeah i i do remember some people talking about that yeah but then i didn't know they had like a checkbox because like i think i talked about it a little bit like what happens if you agree to have sex with the person but then they have sex with you and like they do a sex thing that something you didn't want and yeah then, like well, you said you would have sex with them, but they did something bad. I couldn't that, and then I guess if they have checkboxes, that kind of solves that issue. Yeah, I mean, it obviously doesn't cover, like, everything, but it's, yeah. like, it must, I mean, the one I saw, it was, like, a lot of different options. Yeah. Of, like, all the different things that you could imagine or whatever off the top of your head. Yeah. So it, like, covered most stuff. Like, even, like, kissing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, like, everything. Like, kissing groping like touching boobs touching butt touching genitalia like yeah so like you literally just like check off and agree together it's like a really formal way to all agree right, to have sex all right we're gonna have sex let's go <laughs> this turns me on signing this fucking paper dude i know i understand like it's it it has to be uh like you want to make sure that you're doing everything to make the other person comfortable but like every experience with sexual experience that i've had has been like natural in a way that like the it, it was like both of us like consenting at the same time or whatever and like definitely a lot of times there's definitely like verbal consent but there are also times where it's a little bit more yeah, yeah, yeah. I There's a little bit more, like, body language involved, I guess you could say, that yeah. makes you feel like... Or, yeah, like, I've had people put me inside of them without them asking and vice versa based on, like, body language and how the moment is going and things like that. Yep, I, yeah, that's true. I've had, I had to push a girl off because yeah. she was just right about to do it. I'm like, dude, I need to fucking put on a condom. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck you fucking doing? Get off of me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I had the same, yeah, same thing happen, yeah. Yeah. 
just fucking rubbing up against each other, and she just fucking grabbed it and started pulling it in, and I was like, wild. No! <laughs> Be wild, dude. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I, I feel that there's like a, what is it called? It's like a, I told my wife I can't perform under pressure, so I perform Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's oh, jeez. It's a... Uh... <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I don't know. Shit's confusing. You can trust people more the more you know them. That's the general rule that I've had. Like, I've spent, like, if I've spent a significant amount of time, like, getting to know somebody or whatever, and there's, you know, some pressure between us or whatever, and then it ends up exploding, and it's... Like, you have to be able to read social signals and things like that a lot of the time, but if there's ever any question, like, I'm, you have to be, like, fully formal and just be like... Yeah, exactly. Yo, is this cool? It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, sometimes there's, like, a like a nuance to it, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, well, that's another thing. Even if you do ask, like, let's say, like, the most basic things, like kissing or whatever... Like, you have to, uh, like, read the moment or whatever. Like, people do say, like, you can go in, like, 90% and then have her do, like, the other 10, so you're not, like, physically kissing her all the way. Yeah. Like, she comes in, too. Like, you get close to her and then she comes in. Yeah. Um, that's one way to do it, but, like, also asking to kiss is a safe way to be just like, hey, I feel yeah. the vibe. Let's kiss. Yeah. You want to kiss? Can I give you a smooch? Can I give you a little smoochy? Can I lick those lips? <laughs> oh, man. Alright. This person has officially given up. I can't get a girlfriend. I can't even get a date. Try for four years. No relationship in four years? Okay, pretty normal, I think. But I see people on Reddit complaining about being lonely because their dates are not working out. Dates? I've never been on a date. It's impossible. I've tried many dating apps, and I also tried a lot of places in real life, but I was never able to get a date. If it, if it, it really takes so many dates before finding the right one, and I'm not even getting one date in four years, well, good as I am at math, I can tell you the chances that I will find lovers is zero percent. Trying to get a date is talking too, taking too much out of my time and energy. I really didn't want to give up. I'm really not a quitter. But this challenge of life is too hard for me. Advice. If it is taking too much of your time and energy, then that is a legit reason to give up. There is no need to sacrifice your whole life on something you will never get anyway. Be happy with what you have and focus on the most realistic things in your life. Maybe you'll find love by coincidence. Maybe not. Ooh! I don't know, dude. Here's the thing. Me being in a long-distance relationship for like one and a half, between one and a half and two years, have made me realize something. There's something that I think fundamentally all people need in this life. And that is to like share some sort of connection with somebody intimately. Yeah. And I'm not talking about just fucking. I'm talking about just like shared experience, partnership kind of stuff. Like, you need to be able to connect to somebody emotionally. You need to be able to, like, confide in, in someone that you really trust. Uh, obviously, fucking them is awesome. <laughs> like, you need that connection. It's part of the human experience. And I feel like if you don't have it, it can affect you in a very negative way. I don't know if that's something that you require once you have it once. Or if it's something that you can live without if you never have had it. But for me, I feel like that partnership, like you always, like it's a big component to my life, at least for me. It was like a really hard part of my adjusting to being away from my fiance for so long. Like, I don't know, life just did, it like lost its light, a lot of it. I was just like, I don't know, just going to bed at night and shit, like, after the fucking hundredth day, I was just like, fuck. Damn, yeah. I just miss my girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's other, probably other people could be different, though. Not everyone might not see it the same way. 
I don't know. I don't think like it has to be like the same for everybody. Yeah. Like maybe you can get it through other means. But like I feel like you have to have some sort of human connection with somebody on an intimate level. Yeah. Uh, whether that's being, you know, really close with somebody romantically or maybe like some sort of mutual partnership. I don't know what. But, like, I think you need to have, like, close relationships in your life. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I need to have close relationships. I think that's a big and important thing to have. Um, I don't know if... I don't... It's hard to say, like, if you need, absolutely need, like, uh, like... But I'm talking... Intimate relationship, I guess? I don't know, dude. If you live it... It's, it's a weird experience. Like, imagine not being able to see Abby for, like, a year and then another six months. Oh, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's... I, uh, I guess you're talking, like, because you just, you're just going through it. Yeah. But, like... It just, like, opened up my eyes because, like, I was single and I was still able to do other stuff before. Like, I was able to go out with people yeah. and, like, have, like, other experiences with people. And it created, like, some sort of excitement in my life that, like, kept me going for, like, that component of my life. Like, it might have not been an intimate relationship, but it was still, like, getting to know somebody new and exciting and things like that. Like, yeah. dating and stuff like that. Um, and then having the girlfriend, obviously, is, like, the getting to know you better part or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that, like, people couldn't can live without that and not have like a a negative effect on your life yeah i don't know it's something i never thought about before i had like a serious relationship yeah and since i've had a serious relationship i've always either been dating or been in like a serious relationship with somebody and like there are there were stints where like i didn't see anybody for a while or whatever but like I don't know. I feel like you, having some sort of partnership in your life uh, is like part of uh, the human condition. I think you need it. Yeah, I would, I'd have to like see like research on that, I guess, and see what, what it would say. Yeah. I guess I would be curious. I mean, based off of all the shit I know about like incels and stuff like that, uh, the data is definitely against those types of people. Yeah, well, I'm like also saying like asexual people that you know just don't really. Yeah, but asexual people can still have close relationships with people and just not a sexual one. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what exactly what I was saying. Like if you have like you know close friends or whatever, and that still works too. Can't asexual people still have romantic partners that are like just not they just don't fuck with? Maybe that's also true. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I actually don't know this stuff. Yeah. This data. But yeah, I know, uh, I don't know, all the stuff I know about, like, the guys who claim to, like, go their own way and, like, don't need women and give up on dating and stuff like that. I know, yeah, they do. A lot of them don't really end up in a good place. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I definitely agree. I don't think they end up in a good place either. But I'd like to see something about, like, uh, the, I guess... I mean, we also, we, you also know because of, like, sapiens and stuff like that, we're like, you know, we thrive as, like, groups. Yep, definitely. Like, humans yeah. need other humans. Yep. It's, like, part of... Social creatures, yeah. Yeah, we're social creatures, so, like, that, to me, is something also that tells me, like... Yeah, I, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I definitely agree, I, I, I mean, I agree with everything you're saying, I just don't know if, like, sci like scientifically, scientifically if, it, if it's, it's, like, 100% like that, I, I feel like it is, though, but yeah. I can't tell. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it does fuck you up, like, if you don't have an intimate relationship with someone for yeah. a while, but I don't know. Yeah, and that's why, like, obviously I feel bad for a lot of the people who struggle with dating, because, like, I mean, I... If we're being honest, I don't think we're bad-looking guys. Yeah. I think we've had it kind of easy, yeah. to be fair. But at the same time, it's not like we haven't like worked to achieve what we wanted, yeah. too. But like we started at like a higher level than a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with that. Like it's the bar for us is a lot like easier to get in on. Yeah. Um. So. I don't know, man. I feel bad for people that are like, I don't know. 
some people that, some guys that I see that I'm like, okay, obviously, yes, you have, by the way that you look, it's, like, physically harder for you to, like, find somebody because of the way that you look. There are ways you can, you know, change your physical look. It takes a long time, a lot of dedication. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. And then there are people who I think that, like, they are fine, but they get in their own way. Like, they're... The problem is, like, their mentality or, like... Yeah, exactly. The way they view dating or whatever. And that's, like, what drives people away instead. And that's, like, shit, man, you're halfway there. Yeah, exactly. That sucks. You know, you can get a date, but nobody wants to fucking hang out with you because you're miserable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a shitty... That's real shitty is that they, they have uh, the more potential... And then they just, uh, they're in their own fucking head. Yeah. And they fuck it, they fuck it up themselves. Yeah. That's, that's, that's truly sad. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I guess, uh, that my experience over the last, like, year and a half has made me more empathetic towards, uh, people who have a hard time dating. Yeah. Or having a hard time, like, keeping or finding a partner. Cause I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. <laughs> yeah. That does, uh, that sucks. I, I mean, you don't know what exactly that he's doing, but I, I mean, he says he's tried, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, in his case, it could be the fact that, like, obviously you need to do more if you have less, yeah. as far as, like, physical work. Yeah. Uh... He doesn't really talk about himself at all. No. But, like, it could be a lot of things. It could be the way he presents himself. Like, maybe he's a fine-looking guy. He just is really not good at selling himself. Yeah, we, yeah, we just don't know. Bad texter. Like, online dating is brutal, man. Yeah. And people don't waste their time with jabronis. So, like, you can be cute and, like, you know, flub up in real life and get away with it. Online dating, dude. The thoughts will fucking tear you up. Yeah. <laughs> but he says he's been done in real life stuff, too. I don't Does know. Does he? Isn't that what he said? Trying to get a date is taking too much of my time and energy. Oh, wait, never mind. He doesn't say anything about it in real life. He doesn't say anything about online or, or real life. Yeah. He's just saying he's trying to get a date. I just assume nowadays that people are using online dating. And then, yeah. And not really approaching people because... Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I talked to... Uh, my supervisor at work is... Uh, he's a ladies' man. He's really good at fucking girls. He... And, like, hooking up with girls and stuff. He's fucking a 49-year-old Dominican guy. And very often he can pull girls that are, like, in their 20s. And, uh, he's incredibly charming. Not really, like, super good-looking at all. Yeah. He said, like, I talked to him actually today. I said, uh, I won't say his name because he is engaged. <laughs> but <laughs> he, he said, he's had, like, four or five wives. And he has a bunch of kids and shit. But anyways, he can't, he can't stop himself. That's, he, that's the way he put it, puts it. He's like, I see a beautiful girl and I have to talk to her. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he tells me, I asked him, I said, like, how do you find these girls? Do you, like, go online or whatever? Because a couple of the last girls that he was telling me about have been, like, around 25 years old. He's fucking 49. Yeah. And he said, no, no, the last girl, I was at the supermarket, and I saw her. She was, like, ordering meat or whatever at the counter, and she asked for, like, a pound. And I just interjected, and I was like, no, come on, come on, come on, you... You need, to, you, you need more than that. You gotta get two pounds. That's the good shit. And then, like, from there, he started to talk to her about, like, you know, what she was using it to cook. And then she was saying, oh, yeah, no, it's like, you know, I make a really good this, that, that. And then, and then he just goes, like, oh, you know what? That sounds really good. I'd like to try that sometime. Do you think I could get your number? Nice. And then she was like, oh, yeah, definitely. And then boom, boom, boom. And then next weekend, she's at his place cooking for him and then fucking. Like... Damn. That's the kind of, like, it was, it, he's like, and also the other thing was he said, like, 
you know, if they say, I have, I'm married, I have a boyfriend, or whatever, or if they, like, immediately, like, you know, want to cut off the conversation, like, that's another thing, it's like, I'm completely respectful of that, and I, I, like, you know, tone it back as soon as a girl shows any restraint, and he said, you know, a lot of the time, I have hooked up with girls who have significant others, <laughs> and he's like, because I am so respectful of their boundary, after hitting on them, they end up being more interested <laughs> in me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which is funny, but anyways, yeah, he seems, I mean, he's definitely, like, a dog, like, he's a, he's a stereotypical, like, horny boy that never, ever, 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 ever will get out of the system or whatever, uh, but, uh, he does it in a way that definitely can be, like, the flirtatious way that he does it, it's, like, fun, playful, easy to interact with, and also easy to reject, like that's it that's like the what you need to be aiming for when you're trying to like approach yeah. people in real life definitely yeah as long as you're respectful and and you know lighthearted and all that stuff things things are bound to go pretty well pretty much yeah and uh that's uh that's probably it yeah that's it dominicans are crazy man yeah it sounds insane except you don't did he tell his wife this? No. Yeah, of He's cheated on all of his wives. And the funniest thing is... Why does he even get married? He just doesn't care. He doesn't care. And it, all of his ex-wives are really good friends with him. They'll bring him food at work a lot of the time. Jeez. Like, he's fucked all of, uh, on all of them. He's gotten caught cheating, right? Yeah. They divorce him after a certain amount of times cheating. <laughs> and then... They still stay friendly with him and, like, still hang out with him, still fuck him, still, like, see him every once in a while. He's like, yeah, my ex-wives, they love me. Like, they still love me. And then, so he told me, he told me next weekend, he's got a girl that he dated 25 years ago that found him on Facebook. She's coming up from South Carolina uh, to stay the weekend with him. Oh, nice. Yeah, and she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> Jeez! Yeah. Yeah, it's nutty, dude. That is nutty. Yeah, he's a... He is a monster. He must be a monster, man. He must have a huge fucking dick. <laughs> that thing must be healthy as fuck. Okay, it must be. Jesus. Yeah. The man is, uh... Is plowing. I don't know. He's... Uh, it's like the mentality for him is just like... It's unfortunate. But he's just like, I'm just gonna have a good time with life. I guess why would he bother getting married though? Because he, it's a celebration. It's a like, he still loves these women, but he just doesn't wanna stop his own personal escapades. I guess, yeah. But wouldn't you respect their boundaries? <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, I don't think he really like. I think it for him, it's like something that's assumed for a relationship. Like, he says, like, he thinks it's, like, part of his culture, like, he's like, yeah, I bet that they're doing similar stuff, too, so. Damn. Because he talks, like, him and his, his fiance are, like, she's in the Dominican. Yeah. And she's an old girlfriend as well. Yeah. And he's here in the U.S. Oh, so he doesn't know that. And he's like, yeah, she's probably, you know, messing around or whatever down there. And he's like, hey, if I caught her, then, you know, it's, it's over, but... <laughs> Like, as long as we don't catch each other, I guess it's whatever. Wow, that's interesting. I guess yeah. different cultures. It's 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 weird, but, like, a, I know, like, for us, it's, it's, like, something that's very serious. But, like, for them and their culture, it's very, like, high and low and, like, go with the flow. Yeah. So, like, people are very flirtatious. They're always looking for, like, you know, other options and fun and just, like, you know, they're playing dumb. It, like playing dumb innocence, but it's really they really know what they're doing. Yeah. They just pretend like they don't. Jeez. You yeah. know, it's fucking crazy, man. That is crazy. Well, I mean, I guess uh, good for him, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like one of those. He's got one of those infectious personalities. Like it's hard to be mad at him. He's just really easygoing and like. I don't know, man. He's just got a charm. 
Got a charm about him. Got a charm. One of these days, I'm gonna wake up next to him. That's the that's the worst part. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> fucking <laughs> capture you. He's gonna fuck me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He I, did it. <laughs> it's like Bill Clinton. It's like I just wake up the next day and I'm in bed next to him. I'm like, what the fuck? What happened last night? <laughs> well, I don't know. You wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. You say hospitalization for an anxiety-induced nervous breakdown. I hear quiet vacation with awesome drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the, you keep hitting the what's the button? The morphine button, dude. The morphine button, baby. All right, guys, if you like the IV drip, smash the morphine button. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit. When content creators start working in hospitals. Oh man. Anyways guys, uh, we're the Bow Bros. We hope that you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, we're gonna be off for the weekend, uh, including Sunday. We won't be here because we have a boat trip day on Sunday and we're gonna be toasted. And we might also get back pretty late. I don't know when we're getting back. And, we, and it's gonna be wet. It's gonna be raining the whole day. Well, we'll see. May, you know what? Maybe maybe, we'll, maybe it will shift. Maybe we'll find the 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 one spotlight. The, the one spotlight in the in the you know lake. Yeah. All right, Andy. We gotta find the one spotlight in the lake, and we have to drive to it. Andy's gonna be pissed again because nobody's gonna want to go in the water or like tube or anything. Dude, fuck it, I'll go on the tube. Well, yeah, I'll go on the tube. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll try it, dude. You just, you know, you drink enough, and then you just... Yeah, you don't feel anything. Invincibility mode. And, yep. Have an awesome time, guys. See you after your quiet vacation with awesome drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Drewball. Thanks, Drewball. You have a good weekend, Drewball. Yeah, you have a good weekend, man. Alright, guys. Uh, Just yes. came by. Say hi. To have an amazing stream. Oh, well, we're we're ending, Orange. We're ending. Well, he was here earlier. Yeah. But we are, we're, we're 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 leaving. We're leaving, baby. Yeah, a good friend is coming up tomorrow, and then uh, we go on a boat on uh, Sunday. We're so, going going out Saturday night. Going out Saturday night. We might even go out Friday night. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Oh, man, dude, I think I'm going to Puritan, baby. Ooh. Getting a couple of mud, mud slides. slides, baby. Wow, I missed it. Oh, sorry, Lavender. Everybody always comes at the Dude, end. Dude, every it happens literally almost every stream. Every stream, almost every stream, a ton of people come at the end. Well, it's ten o'clock. Like when everybody gets that, off work. Uh, or? Dude, I don't know. Ten o'clock. Well, it's in uh, the West Coast. It's seven so yeah, maybe yeah. that's you know maybe when people are getting home that's when we stream yeah. so you know that's yeah interesting all right guys well thanks for po popping in if you just came in and uh thanks for being here if you were here earlier uh we're the bow bros we stream sunday monday tuesday wednesday and thursday from 7 30 p.m 10 p.m eastern standard time uh we won't be back tomorrow. We'll be back on Monday. I am second shift next week. So we're streaming late? So we'll stream late. Ah. We're streaming late again. Um, and then you've got a concert on Thursday night. Yeah. Concert Thursday. So maybe I'll solo something. Oh wait, are you going to be back? Because I get back late. Okay, I'm going to be back at 9. I might get back at like 11. Okay. okay. Maybe it's fine, it's fine, it's yeah. fine. It's fine, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll do something for you guys. Sam just practiced, he's like, alright guys. Alright guys. Time to time to put on the practice. Mute the microphone. Just sit there. Just hidden, doing the same combo 50 <laughs> times in a row. Three hours. Chris is gonna get home from Dude. my concert drunk and I'm gonna be like, hey Chris, you wanna play a game? <laughs> you should just... You should have a counter button where you hit it every time you, you land it, and then you hit the reset button. Yeah. And then you just restart again. Oh. <laughs> Bye. See you Bye. guys. See you guys. Uh, do you want to raid somebody? Uh, uh, do you want
wanna? Maybe. Alright, I guess we should raid. I guess we should raid. I think we can have a keyboard. Ooh. Oh, Super Noon. He's playing Final Fantasy. He's not playing. Interesting. Well, that's what happens when you know you, you don't play the the best the game that you're best at. You uh. You get bad. That. Uh, let's see what else. Um. Kizzy K. Um. Um. It's either Dookie or Zenigami. I don't want to do Dookie because he's playing like a dragon and he's at the end of the game. Oh, I don't actually yeah. want to play that game. Uh, Zenigami? Sure. Pokemon Unite? I won't watch it, but you know. <laughs> he rewatches the stream and he's like, I won't want it, but you know. <laughs> Do we do Super? Well, no, is Super never gonna say anything? He yet? won't say anything. I don't think he has alerts on. Oh, shit. Because he doesn't want to. He said Subathon. Well, maybe not. Okay, know. maybe Super Noon then. Whatever you want to do, either Super Noon or Zenny. I guess I'll check out Final Fantasy XIV since everyone talks about it now. Fuck. We'll see what he's, we'll All right, see boys. What he's doing. Alright, boys, here it is. Here it is. Alright, guys. Uh, we hope you had a wonderful night. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hey, here we go. We, we got, got a four, four man raid coming in. Four man raid coming in clutch. Yep. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a great Thursday night. Uh, we'll be back on Monday, streaming on Monday, uh, so we'll be missing mon one day next week, but, uh, you get, a, you get a little break. A little break from us. You get a little break. Alright, guys, we love you. We miss you. And we really want to kiss you. We hope you have a good night, everybody. Ah, good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks for the raid. Oh, there we go. Right, Dragon, Ball oh, yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters could have been free to play. <laughs> that shit could have been free to play, bro. They make so much money off Dokkan. They're fucking legends. Holy shit. It actually could have been a free to I would have had no problem gotcha for fucking Goku Black. Oh shit, I got my fifth copy of Goku Black. Hell yeah. Fuck. Not like this. This one makes me more close on And Enjoying 14? Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm just playing it at my own pace. It's you might be right about that. Like, you be on that JJK gotcha? Nah, you know what gotcha had me for a little bit? A little bit. The Naruto. Yikes. The Naruto one had me for like a second. I won't even like lie to you. It had me for like a sec. And then I was like, this gameplay sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead now? The Naruto one? Oh yeah, it did die. I remember reading about it, I think. I think I remember reading about it dying. Yeah, Noon, you gotta finish that trial. And then you're gonna have to pay for that subscription. I gotta, I gotta see. Oh yeah. Let's see. I'm not, I, I said I'm not talking shit about this game until after A Realm Reborn. Okay, well, I'll tell you now. I completed A Realm Reborn. This shit has me in an infinite loop of garbage dungeons and quests. Well, I'm level 51. You want to know when I hit level 51? Uh, 11 o'clock a.m. Okay. Yeah, I've been the same level for about eight hours. Because these quests don't give me anything anymore. Word. 
Yeah, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the trial, and then decide if I want to keep playing. That's when I'll judge it, because by then, I will know if I like the game or not. No, post, this post AR is rough. I can't oh, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, what the fuck? People are like, no oh, man, you just, after AR. you just have to beat ARR. And I'm like, okay, I will save my judgment. And now everyone's like, well, just letting you know, after AR, it's it's a bit rough. So, you know, you got to make it to fucking the next expansion after that one. And I'm like, okay, okay. Dude, fuck. I, I, I can see why there's like, why it's kind of slow right now. Yeah. Because this is in between expansions. So this is basically assuming that you're capped out at level, right? Mm -hmm. They're not gonna give you more experience in in between. Yeah. Wait, how the fuck do I get because, to the airship landing? You know, once you get to the expansion, I that's feel like actual by design, MOs can't be fun. How do I get there? Because shit? they just make you like the the object yeah, no, of I, the I game that. is to make you like stay in the game. <laughs> yeah. So they have to make everything like progression really slow. Yeah. And everything is like cookie cutter. Like even if it has a lot of like classes and stuff like that. Like everything is always oh, very cookie go. cutter. Yeah. Uh, these these games have no I have no, had an no option, option, option. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I played a WoW when people I was were really really there. telling me oh, wow. oh, AR is so bad. The funniest thing is like after that shit got like a while. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah for real. Not assume he would play WoW. No nah, man, it's just a slow burn. Shit gets really good. That's weird as fuck. Word. Like one of the most like addictive. Yeah. But that's why I'm here trying it for myself, right? If I get the level cap and this shit sucks, I swear to god. I don't know. I just never felt... I didn't really like AR. Doing anything in this, like, in this uh, to completion, it was I think, whatever. like, the one thing that I liked about the, the these games were the social... No, I paid for the game. I, I had with other people. Yeah, like, oh, I had a guild and stuff like that. Like, I had a group of people I played with. I'll tell you this, I paid $60 yeah, I for worse yeah, games. Yeah, I was playing it alone, I was like, this is game. trash. Yeah, okay, that's like, are, that. if you don't play really with, like, people to like to he to is, to then it's it, it's Bro, no way. To be fun. Does, do they have, um, uh, what, what are they called? Living maps? Yeah, I just, Does the yeah. map change before your eyes? I just don't see it. <laughs> it's amazing. That's, that, was what, that was what Guild Wars 2 turned into. It was kind of hype, I'm not gonna lie to you. Why do you buy the game before finishing the trial? Because, like... The because reason why everybody I gets fully into expected WoW to and play the game the after because the trial. they like want to like you know do like the big raids and stuff like that with like their giant guilds and like yeah like do all like the big boss fights Post and like, have everybody coordinating stuff, stuff together. And yeah. Whatnot. So like if you don't have that, I mean, if people say there's hype shit to look forward to, then I'm gonna try. Yeah, that's what people yeah. have been telling me. Sinful cock. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I'm really, I'm willing MMOs to give games, like, a chance. lame as fuck. What MMOs do you like? Uh, here we go. <laughs> just uh, Wars 2, models. PSO 2. NGS is alright, but there's not a whole lot of content out since it's only been out for, like, three weeks now. Um, honestly, RuneScape was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know about now, like, modern RuneScape. <laughs> I played MapleStory for a while. Played, um, Neverwinter. Um, shit. Yeah. 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 It's not Terra. Um, I know nothing like, about oh, this I play game, Dragon's but Nest. It just came out. Dragon's Nest was godlike. You would do whole ass. They just like had an expansion or something for it. There was Bombos and Air Tech. Because a bunch of people. Dead ass on game. And then the other one that's people oh, that's are playing like right now is called New Spaceship. World. The fuck is this? Which is the. Blade and Soul? No. I, I played it and I realized. Oh, dude. Dude, Wait, look this at is the a Dead Korean Space developer, trailer. and then I was like, oh, yeah. no, I don't feel like, like grinding for 80,000 years. So, uh, yep. yeah, they... Uh, type in YouTube. I'll sit in my chair for a few seconds. Ooh. My Can Indian style, though. I know. Ooh, thunder. I'll sit in a racist style. Nine hours it went. Dead Space official reveal trailer. One week ago. Yeah. I think it was last week and they released it.
Damn, dude. Not nah, yeah, it barely shows anything, but also it looks a lot nicer if you like watching good quality on like a good monitor. Yeah, it's 30p. It was that. What the fuck? Why is the highest thing 480p? It sucks. But yeah, that's pretty sick that they're remaking it, I guess. Yeah, I was I was like, wait, how is this not getting more news? Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah. Nobody wanted a Dead Space remake. Yeah, right, dude. Maybe this, I don't know. Maybe they're saying that the old one still holds up well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would replay the Dead Space games. Especially the first one. The first one's hella good. Is it on PC? I don't know, actually. Maybe. I could, like, justify a remake, like, if it hasn't been ported since. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. If it hasn't been on the PC, then that makes... That could make sense. I don't know. I'll definitely play that on stream when it comes out. Yeah, dude, Dead Space is, uh... I love Dead Space. I love the, like... Everything <clears throat> in the design of that game made you scared. Mm. The fucking sound design. Yeah. The... How, like... You never see anybody but Isaac in the first one. Yeah. That one that was awesome. And like made it feel like an actual scary Metroid game. It's like stranded. I think it's better than yeah. like three D Metroids. Yeah. Oh yeah, way better than three D yeah, Metroid. It's... Way, way better than three D Metroid. It doesn't have all the abilities of Metroid, but it like gives a feeling of Metroid. Yeah, the atmos crime. the atmosphere in that game is just insane too fucking good and it just feels like you're in it since there's no fucking HUD. Yeah, no HUD. Yeah. It's like the, it's so immersive. Yeah, you don't, you, I think when you're like in your menu and stuff like that, you can still get fucking snuck up yeah, on Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah. Um, there's, a, I don't even think there's safe rooms really. There's just like the areas where you can like buy stuff in the shop and whatnot. I'm pretty sure you can still get hit when you even go in the, shop, in the yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. I think the only save point is like the, the save point. Hmm. Yeah. When you go in the save point. But yeah, and I really like the abilities, like the stasis and like all the different guns seem pretty unique and cool, hmm. and the armor upgrades and stuff. Also, I really like how they like he's just like an engineer with yeah. like a like a cut like a plasma cutter that's meant to cut like metal yeah. on like a ship. And obviously, like, that would be able to cut limbs off or whatever from, like, flesh aliens. So he just, like...